So the sun is shining and you can see it's really, really frosty. But I'm standing in, you can see my foot footsteps there. What I'm standing in is called a frost shadow because if I walk over here, you can see the frost is leaving the grass. And it's good to know where your frost shadows are on your farm. You can see there's the frost shadow and it's due to the trees, obviously. But even in their skeletal form of no foliage in winter, they still cast a shadow, a frost shadow. And you can see there's bits of frost still here on the ground. But as I move this way, there's less and less. So now the glitter on here is just damp. It's like dew. And look at that, the clovers were coming up yesterday it was so mild. So they've had a bit of a shock. But there you can see the frost shadow. This frost shadow, you can see the absolute division. The sun is on this side and there's the height of the grass is creating the frost shadow here. You can see the difference there. So it's not even trees that create frost shadows. It can be a rumple in the land or uh, grass. All kinds of things create frost shadows. Isn't that right, Bear? Frost shadow. Fence post has a very deep frost shadow. You can see going all the way up. So that's what a frost shadow is. Isn't that right, Inca? Frost shadows. The woodpecker's at it again. There's a very good frost shadow. You can see it's the rumples of the land as well as the trees. You can see it's gone all the way over there. There's no shadow, but there's the frost shadow. And there's the woodpecker again. <laughs>